Hey, church. Well, it's time for monthly prayer. On the first Wednesday of every month, we gather at 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. to pray for our nation, for our church, and our community. So tonight, I want to read to you a verse before we begin. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Now you might be wondering, why are we reading this verse? This is not about prayer. This is the fruit of the Spirit. Well, this is our theme verse, our theme verses, scriptures, for our summer camp this year at Cornerstone Christian Academy. And the theme is, we've got spirit. And so tonight, you'll notice on the prayer points down below that, yes, we're praying for our church and for our nation, but the last two there for the spiritual growth of the campers at our summer camp at Cornerstone Christian Academy and for the safety of all our campers and staff at our summer camp. So tonight, be led by the Spirit in your prayers and pray for Cornerstone Christian Academy, the summer camp that's about to begin. We're going to be starting camp next week. And so we have many kids that are coming in and we're able to bring the word of God to them every single day. And so let's pray for their spiritual growth. Let's also pray for the safety of all the campers and the staff because they go, they go on multiple field trips during the week. They go to the swimming and different activities and things and places they go and parks and, and on and on. So what we wanna do is make sure that we're praying for their safety as well. Also, pray the other prayer points that are down there. Pray for our church to focus on God and allow Jesus to manifest his kingdom promises in our lives. Pray for the members of the Connection Church, including our children, and wisdom for the leadership of the church moving forward, and for our nation, for everyone to honor God and his word. We're praying for a move of God, for a revival to take place across this land, because we need it desperately. But also, just make sure that you don't forget to pray for our summer camp at Cornerstone Christian Academy that we're about to begin. We feel that it's important, it's the responsibility that we have, that God has given us, and to put the, the Word of God into those children. And so we wanna pray for their growth. So let's go ahead and pray. And when I'm done praying here tonight, I'm just gonna start off prayer. Pray as long as you can, whether it's 10, 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully you can go the full 30 minutes from seven to 7.30, or if you wanna pray even longer, that's good as well. Let's just all come together and pray here tonight for our nation, for our church, for our community, and for this summer camp. So let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for the opportunity to come together as a church to agree and pray as one, Lord, during this time. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that all in our nation, Lord, would turn to you, Father God, that we would all look to you and not to ourselves. Lord, that this nation would turn their backs on the ways of this world, the, the way that says that, that sin is okay and all these, the way that they're living is okay. And Lord, that they would look to you and your ways, Lord, and they would live according to your word. And Lord, they would confess you as Lord and Savior. And Father, tonight, Lord, our focus is on the summer camp for Cornerstone. And so, Father, I thank you for the protection of each and every one of our campers, no matter where they're going and what they're doing throughout this summer during our camp. And Lord, I thank you for the protection of each and every one of them and for our staff. And Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to be able to put into the children the principles that are in your word. And so, Lord, I thank you for their growth, their spiritual growth. Lord, that by the time they come out, from the summer camp, Lord, they would know and understand the most important thing is to love others as themselves. And Lord, we just give you praise going on for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Church, tonight, continue to pray, like I said, as long as you can. And be sure and be there at Bevel at 10 a.m. We have our, our Connect groups as well, the Connect group this Friday night. Be sure and, and, and do that as well. So we'll see you Sunday morning, 10 a.m. God bless.